Another episode of Stuck in Vermont brought to you by Seven Days. We are here in Northfield, Vermont for the Cabot Hosiery Mills oh, Sock Sale. Wow, it's the first weekend of deer hunting here in Vermont, and that is when the sock madness hits Northfield, Vermont. This weekend, next weekend, sock discounts like you wouldn't believe. What's so special about socks anyway? Socks! It's a social event of the year for Our hard work goes into these socks. I love socks. <laughs> Yeah, people get a little crazy because they want to get the pair of merino socks. Right, so Santa's loading his sleigh today. Monica, what did you buy me? Nothing but a kisses and some super glue. Monica, what can you tell me? Nothing you ain't heard before, but I love you. This weekend it's our 20th annual uh, factory sock sale. Uh, we make socks special for the sock sale. We really open up the factory and uh, people walk past the machinery when they come in. People come year after year. People come for the first time. I remember coming when I was little. Like, really? My sixth year. For 11 years? These last forever. Mom, Julie, Jenny, me. Friend Madison. Myself. Boyfriend. Ourselves. My husband. My cousins. <laughs> Granddaughter and uh, son and grandson. And myself. Dad. All. Me. They hardly have any shops. So the wives could uh, come in and, and shop while their husbands were out hunting. Both of your boyfriends go hunting this weekend? Yep. Up at 4.30 yesterday morning. That makes you a hunter's widow. But I actually see a lot of husbands and boys and men in here. I so. think some of these guys are hunters. They just ain't foolish enough to wear the horns like I am. We're, we're committed to, to being here. Uh, we have a lot of people that have been with us for many years. And... I shape socks. And how long have you been here? 20 years. You try to figure out how many people you're keeping warm, and it's you can't imagine. That makes me happy. I mean, you know, a little proud. <laughs> these people, these technicians that make these socks, quality, attention to detail. We chose to keep it here because we have the experience and we have the skill. When a company shuts down and people lose their job, the communities uh, tend to die out. As long as I'm with my machine, I'm okay. Well, they're, they're your neighbors. They know how you wear the socks. They care about you. Everything in the factory was made. Everything at the sale was made by people in the factory. Warm, warm feeling to know that so many people wear our socks. And now that we're doing the military socks, the proudness of our socks being worn over in Iraq. Yes, we're the last, uh, the last sock company in Vermont for sure. We're probably the last sock company in New England and one of the last in the United States. Well, I'm the third generation of my family uh, in the sock business. We're following uh, a sustainable community business model. There's nothing better than a night on the town. Except tonight at home, sitting round. Hanukkah, what did you buy me? Nothing but a kiss and sense of super glue. Hanukkah, what can you tell me? Nothing you ain't heard before, but I love you. Nothing you ain't heard before, but I love you. Nothing you ain't heard before, but I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you, socks. Now it's time for me to go shopping. We'll get stuck in with you again later. And you guys are not hunters' widows. I'm taking it. No. Your boyfriends are hunters. <laughs> uh, they are hun they're hunters, but they're, we're, they're definitely, we're not widows. <laughs> well, well, no, it just means, it means that they go start going hunting this yeah. weekend. Oh, so like they're not Yeah. Oh, no, they're not they're dead. Not. Did you go out yesterday? Yes. And how was it? How's the feeling? I saw some. Yeah, but no, no catches yet? Uh, not yet, but we got plenty of time here. 